Welcome to the O'Reilly Auto Parts World of Wheels here in Chicago. This event is the end of the season for the indoor car show crowd. And boy, there are some incredible, incredible vehicles. Whether it's a hot rod, a street machine, a low rider, a true one-off custom, a lifted truck, or one of those traditional rods, you'll pretty much find it right here at the Chicago World of Wheels. Hey, let's take a look at some of the great rides featured right here at the World of Wheels. Welcome to U.S. Classic Muscle Cars. Hi, my name is uh, Eric Poussard from uh, Quebec City, Canada. This is my 1995 Honda Civic, which has been highly modified. And if you want, we'll start with the uh, engine. This is the engine bay. The engine bay has been fully shaved and tucked. The lights have been transferred to uh, Accord headlights. It's the original engine. I bought the car new in 95, and it's my first car. The engine has been supercharged with a Jackson Racing Jack supercharger. And numerous, numerous chrome. Like I say, I shaved everything. The mounts, the back wall, the ring. The, the winching, the, the wiper calling has been uh, removed and a TV has been included in there. How much horsepower? i be honest, I couldn't tell you because I've never dynoed it with the uh -huh. supercharger. So it's, I, I, I wouldn't be able to give you the exact number. Sure. So I, as we go along, I'll show you the, uh, the inside fenders on all four has been shave and duck everything has been upgraded to five bolt acura integra type r wheel base and all that and has been chrome as you can see with the mirror and then i'll talk to you about the floor after now if we go towards the inside you will notice that there's no more back seat it's an amplifier rack and if I decide to open it up, it will unveil, reveal more audio equipment, all the power, power core, it's all Phoenix Go. If you come on this side, I will show you, as you can see now, the dash, it's, everything's controlled via Wi-Fi, iPad, and the dash is in the in position. So if I do this, dash comes out and it will reveal five TV. And at the same time, I can get the five PlayStation to come out. In, in the floor, we have equalizer, one for each side for sound quality and the floor has been it has been a lot of work in the floor it's a false floor that was built and welded to include electronics equipment if you look under the car here you will see that the false floor had been built and I in there I decided to put in the car computer and the Audison bit one for my audio. And I was honored to be selected within the select six of the show for the Legend Cup. First time for a tuner for what I understand. Now to carry on with the car, everything has been shaved or molded. NSX vents, they were done out of metal. Then if you come towards the back, the rear end have been Change to Integra tail lights, and to make it even more fun. Oops, I got the wrong relayer, but I will now. If you look at it, the tr the trunk will come up to reveal 32-inch TV and audio equipment.
the kit is from a Toyota Celica. It was a one of a kind and then we made it to a, for the Civic. So it's a one of a kind kit with a splitter, carbon fiber. Everything is carbon fiber, it's real carbon fiber. Now if we come on this side. You can see the interior of the wheel have been also done. Chrome, exhaust has been uh, changed to a dual and everything been either paint or chrome. Now if I go on this side, well you can see the interior. If you want, I can bring the dash back in. Just be careful not to step on the glass so you don't break. And then the, uh, I'm rolling now. Will you tell me about the gauges? What the okay, these are auto meter gauge. They're all functional. And when I want to drive the car, if I, if I would drive it still, then it would go in. If you want, I can bring it in for you. There we go. It's going to go in right now. How do you imagine all this? Well, I was, I'm not the only person that worked on this for the dash and all that. Uh -huh. I had somebody, Chris Nanku, who uh, designed the dash. I asked him what I wanted and all that, and he fabricated it. Uh -huh. So I, I won't take credit for the dash. <laughs> He's an, a genius guy with, when it comes to that stuff. Yeah. So now it's ready, the car would be ready to drive. Then I'll take it back out. So this is what the Civic, and if you look on the floor here, what you see flashing the red lights, this is the OEZ Wi-Fi wi -Fi system for the, the car that was adapted for a car. It's a house system usually for uh, controlling, and it's adapted to the car now, and this is what permits me to control everything with my iPhone, right, right. or a computer, or whatever. Right. Wow. Yeah. And so how many hours did it take to do all this? I don't know the number exact, but I know for sure I got over like, it must be close to 5,000 hours on this for sure. And I started this project in 2000. It wasn't supposed to go that far, but it went that far. And if you ever blow a fuse, is it easy to find out Every, which one? Everything is easy. I, I know everything about my wiring right, right, right. because I did it all. Wow. And taking a break, please enjoy the next video.